Hello everybody, this is a magnet, as you can see. It's a nondescript magnet. It came out of a, I don't know, some industrial application. This is a piece of metal, uh, just an ordinary mild steel. And it just got stuck here, like this. And another piece of, uh, or then another the ordinary piece of steel right here. I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together like this. Okay, and it's pretty tight like this here. And you can see, there it is. I'll put this on the side. And I have another magnet here like this. Okay, and I have another piece of metal like this. Just gonna glue them together like this, real tight, like that. And I'm gonna get another piece of block like this, and it's gonna get stuck to it. There it is. Okay. Now what I have is I have this piece of uh, metal here with the magnet sandwich in between, and I also have this one here. But there's quite a bit of a difference between these two. As you can see, there's still a magnet. It's very difficult to pull these apart and it's quite quite strong magnetically. I'll show you something really interesting. Uh, what you may not realize is that there's a big difference between these two, between this one and this one. Okay. Next, I have a metal block here, which is just a normal steel block. Okay. I'll show you something interesting. Now this metal here has a magnetic field that extends from here, probably the south field, and the north field. Okay. What I can do is I can take this metal block and basically it gets stuck to it like this, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something, okay? It's stuck like this, okay? Now, it's almost very difficult to pull this apart. You can see this, like this, okay? Quite interesting, okay? I'll show you something different with this one. And now I have this one here. Now this one is different. It doesn't stick to it, okay? There is no magnetism at all coming out of this field at all and yet it takes a lot of pressure to pull this apart if I can pull this apart real strong here like this do it again here we go watch this okay again it's stuck very strong now the magnetic field in this particular device here is contained inside the iron there is no extending magnetic field to the outside. Okay, that's why this metal block doesn't stick anywhere here. Okay, there's no magnetism coming from the top, not from the bottom. There's no magnetism at all in this block. Let me bring the other one again. Here's the other block. Okay, now watch this. See this? This is stuck, it's basically like this. And there you go, like this. Okay. Now this block will not stick here. Okay. No magnetism whatsoever. Okay. One more thing. Pull this apart. Now, what I have here is a is a compass. Okay. Now this compass basically it's going to show a certain magnetic field. Okay, I'm going to put it out of the light here. Okay. Now this compass here, as you can see has a huge influence on this. You can see this here, like this. There you go. I can rotate this with the magnetic field, okay? Now, put this away. Now this field here, there's no magnetism at all out of this block here, as you can see. Very little residual magnetism coming out of here, okay? North field here, okay? Show you something interesting. I'll put I will pull this apart. Okay. Now, pull this apart. Now, I'm going to take the magnet. Now watch this. North field, south field. North field, south field. Now watch this. You understand what's going on here? This magnet has four poles. Okay, now watch what happens here. I'm gonna 
shield the magnetic field. There we go, like this. Put it together. Now, I have to make sure it's totally hidden. Okay, and here we go. There's a very little magnetic field coming out of this, as you can see. Okay, almost none whatsoever. Okay, these magnets have four poles on a single plane. This magnet here, here, basically has a north and south field. The field extends past that. And that's why the magnet rotates like this. I hope you understand that magnets are different variations of them exist besides the north-south fields. And you can actually totally shield the magnetic field within the iron. This particular field extends. This one here has no discernible field at all. It's totally shielded. There are circulating currents inside this iron that are not basically definable. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Bye-bye.